गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन टुडे आई अनुज कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर भारतीय विद्यापीठ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड रिसर्च टेकिंग योर सेशन टेलिंग यू समथिंग अबाउट फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग फॉरेन एक्सचेंज रेट बिफोर गोइंग फर्दर व्हाई वी आर डूइंग सेशन इन दिस मैनर बिकॉज़ अमिड दिस कोरोना ब्रेकडाउन इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कंडक्ट फिजिकल क्लासेस एंड ऑल ऑफ यू आई मस्ट सजेस्ट यू प्लीज यूज हैंड सैनिटाइजर at regular intervals like i am using and now i will touch anything it is necessary for your safety for your good health hope you all are staying in a good health now what is the topic for today my topic for today is factors affecting foreign exchange rate what are those factors it is a part of your unit 6 mba ib syllabus so what are the factors which affect foreign exchange rate i have uh, mentioned here five factors which affect foreign exchange rate first is inflation rate second is interest rate third is public debts fourth is political stability and fifth is terms of trade i will discuss many other factors as well uh, take one by one what what is the first factor is about For, uh, it is inflation rate but i am starting with this political stability because you all are aware of this factor very much political stability how political stability of a country affects foreign exchange rate any one of you uh, must be there must be some questions uh, going on or some suggestions going on in your mind like india is a democratic country but china is not a democratic country so how the politics or how the uh, the nature of the government affect the foreign exchange rate you can see uh, in india after this uh, 1991 we have adopted L- lpg because of that lpg the foreign investments are coming at regular in- interval in our country at the same times our uh, balance of payment deficit has also recovered a lot so how this political stability obviously if a government is more stable in any country then more foreign investors will be attracted towards that country at the same time if the government is not unstable there are certain factors which make your government unstable just like corruption terrorism or uh, unstable government if you see the era of 1991 to 2000 india has five prime ministers that was not helping the economy of india because the government was unstable the government was unstable less uh, trading uh, less trust of the foreign traders in india so it will also affect your foreign exchange and less number of countries will uh, export uh, will uh, like uh, export from india less foreign reserves will come to india foreign less foreign currency will come to india but when you have a stable government you can go ahead with many more traders in, in uh, today's scenario if you will see even america's president mr donald trump is asking india to send medicine uh, to us to help them what it will bring it will bring the currency of us uh, when we will give them medicine they will give uh, the amount in us dollar so foreign currency will come the same thing china is doing with everyone at this uh, moment they are uh, uh, they are exporting masks they are exporting other surgical instrument this is the game of trading so in this manner i can say a uh, just just a background how political stability will help will affect your foreign exchange rate so guys uh, how uh, let's conclude the first point how political stability is affecting the foreign exchange rate obviously if a, if a country is more secure for the foreign traders more number of foreign traders will show trust and faith in the economy at the same time if a country is a not a, if a country with sound financial and trade policies then also it will attract more number of investors so in uh, so i can say your uh, your trade policy your sound financial stability from where it comes the root is politics the root is 
stability of government. So this is the first point. Now, so uh, next point is about next factor which affect your foreign exchange rate. Next factor is inflation rate. Now how inflation rate will affect your uh, this foreign exchange rate? The point I mentioned here, changes in the market inflation rate will affect the change in the currency exchange rate. How? You all understand what is the meaning of inflation? Inflation means when the prices of goods and services will go high. So if a, if a country has a lower inflation rate, the prices of goods, goods like anything can, which can be like touchable goods and uh, services, which are not uh, touchable like in education industry, but I am giving to you, it is a service. So if anything, the changes in the price of goods or services will uh, no, uh, will not uh, go higher at, at a rapid uh, or uh, at a in a uh, at a rapid rate then in the appreciation in the currency will occur so it means currency of the nation will go stronger at the same time so two things i can connect here with the appreciation of currency if low inflation rate And first point, political stability. Both these points will give an appreciation in the currency. And that appreciation in the currency will, uh, will, will affect more number of investors towards your country. At the same time, if the inflation rate of a country is high, high inflation rate, and uh, you can you can see the example of Zimbabwe in 2000, 2001, or like 2002 or three. I don't uh, remember the year exactly. The currency of the Zimbabwe has been inflated like anything. If you have to. I have also discussed this thing with you in class. If you have to purchase something in Zimbabwe at that time of inflation, if you have to purchase a, an apple, you have to carry a book, a, a, a box, a full briefcase of notes for, a, for an apple. So if the inflation rate of a country will be high, then there will be depreciation in the currency. Depreciation in currency. So these are the two factors which affect foreign exchange rate. Inflation rate I told you at the same time I have also told you political stability. I hope you must be clear with the two, uh, two factors which are affecting. Now I will go further to the third factor. The third factor, third factor which affect the foreign exchange rate, the third factor is here, interest rate. Now how interest rate is correlated with your inflation rate and uh, with your political stability. How inflation rate is connected with both of them, inflation rate and political stability any one of you just think uh, for a second meanwhile i'll continue all these like forex rate interest rate inflation rate all are interconnected i told you when the currency uh, when the inflation rate when the inflation rate of a country is low your currency will appreciate at the same time if the interest rate of the country is high, 
there will be appreciation in the currency higher interest rate it means the financially the country is more stable it's doing good the uh, the foreign exchange is doing good so more number of traders will come at the same time uh, there is one more thing uh, like attracting uh, it will be helpful higher interest rate will be helpful in attracting more and more foreign capital towards the country so i can say high interest rate low inflation rate and plus good political stability will leads to appreciation in the currency so in this manner we can connect all three factors study till now inflation rate interest rate and political stability so now uh, let's come to the another two factors till now students we have studied about interest rate inflation rate and uh, the impact of the political stability now the next two factors are country's balance of uh, payment and the government debt balance of payment balance of trade dot balance of trade it can be in surplus or it can be in deficit i guess uh, we have n number of discussions in the class that uh, if the balance of pay, uh, trade of a country is in deficit then there will be less number of investors it shows that the country is importing more and exporting less it shows the dependency of the country on other countries our deficit increases uh, a lot in 1990s then we have changed towards the open economy prior to that we were a, we were not an open economy we adopted the policy of lpg liberalization privatization and globalization so balance of trade should be in surplus or less deficit surplus may uh, you you may or may not achieve but it should not be uh, this uh, the situation should not be more decisive it should not be uh, there should be less number of deficit then it will uh, make a good impact on your foreign exchange rate it improves your currency it improves it will appreciate your currency in the market at the same time the next factor is government's debt government's debt कितना आपकी गवर्नमेंट ने बाहर से उधार लिया हुआ है एंड सोर्सेस कैन बी आई एम एफ आई बी आर डी अदर फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस यूनिट सो इफ अ इफ अ गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग लेस डेट फ्रॉम द फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन और अदर कंट्रीज इट शोज दैट योर गवर्नमेंट इज एबल to make countries expenses but if a government is uh, taking more and more debts then uh, it shows that the government is not able to make its own expenses apne ghar mein bhi lagao agar aap kisi se udhar mangte ho you have to pay pay back the debt kehte hain na ki jitni chadar ho utne hi pair pehlane chahiye और अगर आप खुद पे सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट अपने घर के सारे खर्चे चला रहे हो इट मीन्स यू आर यू आर लिविंग गुड सेटिस्फाइड लाइफ यू डोंट हैव टू पे एनी वन डेट सो इसको समझना कोई बहुत बड़ी मुझे नहीं लगता बहुत बड़ा कोई चीज है सो गवर्नमेंट डेट इफ अ कंट्रीज गवर्नमेंट इज लेस डेट इट मीन्स इट विल मेक अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इंपैक्ट ऑन फॉरन एक्सचेंज रेट and the currency will appreciate less government debt currency will appreciate so these are another two factors government debt and country's balance of payment so now let's come to the another two factors which affect your foreign exchange rate first factor is terms of trade 
how terms of trade will affect your foreign exchange rate terms of trade it 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 uh, relate with your balance of trade export import so if a country has the export prices rise and there is a less rise in your import price import price falls export price rise then there will be higher revenue coming higher revenue coming the currency will appreciate currency will appreciate more number of foreign investors will co uh, come to the country so it will it will positively affect the foreign exchange rate of the country another factor this is the sixth factor seventh factor recession recession is a uh, is a word which everyone is discussing right now amid of this uh, problem of corona recession i guess you all know if a country is facing the condition of uh, the uh, if a country is facing uh, the uh, situation not condition the situation of recession what will happen to its interest rate interest rate will fall balance of trade will go in deficit political will power will go low inflation will become high so recession recession if a country is facing recession obviously the market condition for the country will not be good and it will negatively affect the foreign exchange rate and of the country at the same time it will negatively affect the value of currency so recession will negatively affect the value of the currency and the last factor i am also including the last factor here the eighth factor is speculation market speculation is very much connected with recession if a country is facing recession what will uh, what what will be the brokers in the market or the traders in the market will talk about will they talk about good about that country no it will speculate that the share prices and the bonds of that country will fall and the foreign exchange rate will be affected negatively negative impact and a negative impact on the currency so i have told you about all the eight factors from starting till now in the now i will summarize in the next video now let's summarize all the eight factor 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 first factor is inflation rate for a country to have appreciation in the currency inflation rate should be low it will make a positive impact on foreign exchange rate interest rate of the country should be high it will make a positive impact on the foreign exchange rate political stability should be high in the country so that more number of traders will come terms of trade terms of trade should be positive means export prices should be higher country's balance of payment should be in towards surplus not much of deficit government debt should be less recession should not be there in the country no recession and speculation should be positive so in this manner your eight factors inflation rate interest rate political stability terms of trade country's balance of payment government debt recession and speculation affect your foreign exchange rate thank you everyone i hope this session will help you in giving your examination thank you